The problem with this eye bar is that once it was separated, the holes were blocked in the actual bar itself. So we need to have a look and analyze the mesh structure of this hybrid. Now this was done in ExoCAD and we're going to quickly have a look and see what the flaws are. In the model designer I'm going to delete the color and I'm going to hide the cutting tool. Now if you look closely over here we have all of these intersections happening in the hole. Now this is a big problem when it comes to Boolean cuts and this runs all the way down and we even got we've got some incorrect mesh over there. And let us have a look at the other side. The other side we have the same problem going on and it continues all the way down. So this is a major problem. Ideally we should have a supporting structure that goes around these screw holes which should look like something like that. So we've got a support structure going around like that and we've got the vertices and edges like that. In this event it's not been done. So please consult your ExoCAD and make sure that you have these holes correct. The next thing I want to point to is the structure between these teeth. Now we want to create an eye bar and we have a few flaws in here. Alt B, edit mode to show you what we have. So here we've got a strand running across from that side to that side and if we want to make a nice eye bar that comes through like, like that these strands will prohibit us to cut the eye bar. So these are things that we need to look out for. Let us have a look at the other side. So again over here we can see there's more stuff happening on the inside over here as you can see over here. So this is not really suitable to create an eye bar. Even over here, there we've got another strand running from one side to the other side. Now we need to fix this mesh before we even engage in cutting an eye bar. Now how do we do this? I'm going to go and use the sculpting method in the model designer. Now if this is designed correctly we don't have to engage in these measures. I'm going to make the strength a bit higher and I'm going to keep this at, we'll keep it at 4. Now it is very important that you do not go into the holes at this stage. So I'm going to fast forward this video and then we're going to get rid of the little islands on the inside of this. Okay, exit, sculpt mode, enter transparent mode. As you can see now we've we left with these small little bits and pieces on the inside but we have a lot more space everywhere. Here we still got a few strands which I'm going to fix as well. So sculpt mode. Next we want to go into edit mode. Tab. Select anywhere. Anywhere of the mesh you want to keep. Click on clean and that has gotten rid of everything on the inside. Now we have sufficient space to create an eye bar. Now the problem still is the screw holes. Now I don't like doing it, the preferred method is for you to go back to ExoCAD and create a proper uh, a mesh structure with good geometry. So I'm going to use this as an emergency method, Alt B and we're going to sh move this to the side. Then I'm going to use the Sculpt, Sculpt, 
go to the mask, not this mask, go to lasso mask. And we're going to create a lasso like this. And that will have masked this. We can see here it's been masked. Next, I'm going to select the simplify and make sure the dino topo is on. And we're going to make this a little bit finer, say around eight. Then I'm going to zoom in and we're going to correct this mesh structure. So just paint this and re sculpt it. Now I don't have to worry about the bottom of it because that's been masked. But as I said, I don't like doing this, but we have to do it. We don't have a choice. Okay, exit. Alt B to get out of it. Go to the next one over here, which is also defective. Turn it 90 degrees. Click on Sculpt. You can actually see here, this is all defective. So Sculpt. Go back to your Lasso. If you just click Lasso and select this part over here. Lasso, like that. Then go back to simplify and we're going to put this to about eight, which is quite fine. And we're going to correct this mesh. Now, unfortunately, there's no other solution unless you go back to ExoCAD and fix the geometry. Right, we've got a nice geometry going. Exit. Alt B to get out of it. Now I'm going to expose my cutter one more time. We're going to go to the eyebar module, add a safety zone. Then we're going to accept the safety zone and we're going to correct the thickness. So here we've got to correct there a little bit over here. And this is going to be added to your hybrid. Next, go to your adjustment spacer, which will change the color of your cutting tool. Put your thickness in there and then click on separate. Let's have a look and see what we've got. Alright, this has worked perfectly, but this one hasn't, which tells me that that screw hole was also defective. I'm going to go back a few notches until we get to the cutter, the safety zone. We're going to go back a few like that, control Z back. I'm going to have a look at this one over here. So unfortunately, we've got a um, defective mesh. Again, go to the model designer, go to your sculpt, look for your lasso, lasso out the section over here like that. And we can see over here, there's something going on, which is less desirable. Perhaps there are vertices or something which are not correct. Let's have a look at the face orientation. That seems to be okay. Go to the simplify. Go to adjust cement spacer one more time and then click on separate. And here's the end result. Okay. Here we can see there's a bit of a flaw there. And this is again due to the 
incorrect mesh structure to start off with. The rest looks okay.